Hello my friends, welcome back. I have the first of two uh, unboxings, collection walkthroughs, whatever you want to call it, from Rosie Studios. Uh, these collections are available now in the shop, so I will leave the link for you in the description box. Uh, the first collection I'm going to show you is Born to Bloom. It is pretty it is springy, it is just lovely, let me uh, just get to it. So as usual there are so many pretty pretty things in this collection, uh, I've kind of broken them apart but let, let's have a look. I'm going to start with a puffy stickers, there are three different sets of puffy stickers in this collection. The first is this lovely um, like I guess titles uh, and can you see they're like ombre or like rainbow colored they're beautiful it's this lovely scripty font but the colors are just so so gorgeous uh, there's also a sprinkling of little hearts and sayings and arrows and banners and bits and pieces in there so that is a really fun set the second fun set is puffy sticker florals now these are Mwah, so good uh, super cute you get a really good idea about the collection with these I cannot wait to we'll stick this on anything really anything and everything the last sheet of puffy stickers is an alphabet two alphabets in fact so a larger one which is pink and it's very hard to tell it's got kind of a very subtle pink on pink stripe to it and then the smaller alpha is rainbow in all the different shades from the collection. Uh, I know this looks like a random assortment of letters, but the rest are on the back, including numerals for the larger font. There is also a uh, four by six, I'm thinking clear stamp here. Uh, lots of lovely sayings on here. This would be a fun set for card makers. Uh, all sorts of like birthdays, anniversaries, you could make Mother's Day, Valentine's, all sorts of different cards in here, but a cute set of numbers as well. I don't really know where to go next, but let's start with some of the die cuts. This first pack of two, uh, this is like the sentiments uh, set, so I won't open them up, but it's more of the kind of, I guess I like to use them as layering pieces, there's cards and tags and banners and frames. There's a few little words and whatnot in here, but I really love these kind of general pieces. They're a lot less icony uh, and definitely more like generic, more general, easier to use in all sorts of cases. Uh, and usually there's only one of each, but there are two of each of these designs. So there's like 150 pieces in this pack. It's a lot of die cuts, but um, these are the packs that I get the most use out of. And then the second pack is like the ephemera, and this is definitely more the kind of uh, icon pieces. There's little element, uh, little elements, little elephant, uh, a lot of butterflies in this collection, but also a lot of florals. So this is also a really great pack. 164 pieces, two of each design. I love these little, these like stamps and like little alpha cards in here. There's a cake. What else can I see in here? Lots of plants. A few bugs, there's a rainbow, oops, stack of books and a coffee cup, that looks like me. All sorts of fun things in there. And then as far as the rest of the embellishments go, we have uh, gold foiled acetate sentiments. Let me pull one of these out so you can see the shine on those, amazing. Do they have a little, yes they do, just be aware that they all have a little, um, film over the top of them so they're even more shiny than what they look. It looks like there's two different kind of fonts in there. One's a little bit more scripty and one is sort of more caps, capital letters. Uh, I've pulled out You and Me, Sunshine, Lovely, Happy, Amazing, so you get the gist. Lovely little sentiments. Again, these would be really good for card making. Some very, very pretty gemstones, uh, the gold glitter, and then the rest are more kind of opaque, so there's pink, peach, and green. We have chipboard stickers, as always, two sheets of chipboard stickers. 
lots of lovely sayings, a few frames, there's the little stamps again, and lots more pretty florals. These are kind of uh, 3D butterflies. They're like sort of acetate, but they're folded, so they're, they're quite stiff. They would flatten down if you needed to in an album, but they're also going to spring back up again. Uh, lots of little glittery elements on them too, so they're very pretty and sweet. Then regular cardstock stickers, so two sheets on here as well. Lots of lovely sayings, some tickets, and then on the back a few more kind of uh, little hearts and some circles, just lots of lovely little sentiments on there. And a second set of chipboard stickers, these are all sentiments. Uh, things like, friends like flowers make life more beautiful. Do more of what, what your heart, uh, do more of what makes your heart bloom. Be your beautiful self. Just lovely. Lovely and sweet and perfect. Perfect for card making again. Uh, and the last thing I've got to show you is the paper. There is a 6x6 paper pad which has two each of the designs uh, and how many of them are foiled. There are six foiled pages in here so three of the designs have foil. These are the exact same papers that I'm going to show you in the 12x12 just at a slightly smaller scale. So we have a very pretty floral with a pink background. This is a blue, it's almost lacy looking. There's a blue with a little blue dot on there and kind of a more geometric pattern. There's all those lovely stamps if you felt like fussy cutting yourself out a few stamps. This is one of the foiled papers, so some of the uh, words and the uh, like pricing on the stamp is in gold foil. A beautiful little springtime gingham. We've got pink, red, and orange and yellow, all the lovely warm tones. A smaller pink floral, so the flowers on here are pink, orange, and white. This is more kind of a neutral cream colour with a green check pattern. A very large jungle looking floral. I think, I feel like there's probably not a right way up and down, but I feel like it might go this way. <laughs> That's how I see it anyway. We have another grid pattern, this time more of a deeper royal blue, and this is another one of those foiled papers, so the uh, grid is in gold foil. This is a sweet paper, lots of little sentiments in here, you could use it as a background, but you could very easily cut these out and use them as like tiny word stickers as well. Ooh, and this is another one of those foiled ones, so some of those words are foiled. Another very lacy looking pattern, this time we've got pink on pink and another tiny floral on that same kind of neutrally cream background. Green on green floral, so definitely more of a, a leafy kind of floral look. It took me a while to work out what this pattern was, but it's actually hands holding lots of little bouquets of flowers. The background is blue, but it's got kind of a, a lighter check in it as well. This is another one of those lacy kind of patterns. This time we've got white on, I'm gonna call it yellow. It's somewhere in between yellow and orange. Lots of summery sunglasses. Another lacy pattern, this time it is yellow on pink. Polka dots, blue on teal. This is a very pretty, I love this colour. Hanging baskets of florals. I always struggle with these kind of patterns, but um, it is very pretty. You could almost fussy cut these ones if you wanted. Lots and lots of bugs. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna say they look like ladybugs because they're all spotty, but these are in all different colours. And last but by no means least, and quite possibly one of my favourites actually, a lovely rainbow stripe. So that is everything in the Born to Bloom collection from Rosie Studios. It's such a pretty collection. I can't wait to share a few projects that I make with it, and I hope you will pick a collection up for yourself. If you want to, I will leave the link for you in the description box. Hey, thanks for watching today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you again really soon. Bye!